Hey guys, good evening and uh, this is Grolia Bookset review number 5 and uh, today I am doing fun thinkers so this is like the most interesting uh, book set it's uh, pretty high in terms of visual discrimination it helps you build uh, problem solving, your sorting skills, your uh, pattern recognition and category sorting, calendar skills, time, introduces you to vowels consonants, sounds. So basically this book is divided into four different parts. You have thinking skill which is level one, two, three. Uh, then you have English as one, two, three. You have one book with all round fun which is about rhymes and reasons. And then you have uh, maths which is number count like one, two, three. So when you say one in, in book number one, it's always the beginning. So like uh, I'll, I'll show you. Okay, sorry. Uh, the book comes with the parents guide and like the other uh, two sets which I've shared with you where you have the sets, it's the same. So you have a parent guide. Do you, they tell you how to use the book. Uh, that's the number, uh, num like the categories of the books which are there, like four of them and the number of books, their names. The experiments which have been done where all they use the books so like basically uh, these books are used in Hong Kong, in Germany, in China, in Singapore and uh, as uh, the experts a lot of people have recommended to use fun thinkers for their ch uh, children and uh, I, I personally love it. I love the concept of this book. I love the way they have like taken every anything and everything and I've put it in like these uh, books. And the way they've categorized this as level level one, two, three, and that's exactly how child would also reciprocate. So uh, coming back to this, these are very very handy. So you have uh, all your answers here, which starts from here. Okay, so you have all the answers. So you don't don't need if you don't know something, you can just refer to the book anytime, and it tells you the objective of the game or objective of something which you're doing. So pretty handy so whenever you have this keep it handy with you and uh, the best part about fun thinkers is the module yes so you have this i have opened this for you so that i can show it to you how we do it actually so this is english part one so when you say english part one i'll show you yes so it says word play okay so we go ahead with this so it shows you how to do it how to play you have to put it on one page and then you have to open the box and then do it. Okay, so like you have colors here on this page, you need to read colors. Match each color on this page with the same color on the opposite page. Some questions have the same answer. More to do. So now you can do a lot of other games also. So they keep telling you also that what other games can you do with this. So like here, play color concentration. Make eight pairs of cards using the color on this page. Turn the cards color side down. Now match them up. So like they're just telling you to make a memory game here. So how do we do it? We need to put, we need to put it here. And then we need to pick up one by one. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so this says the red color. Where is the red color here? Okay, is it red or it's orange? It's red. Okay, so red goes here. It's one. Now we need to take another color. Two, that's orange. Where is orange? There are two oranges. You can keep it anywhere. I want to keep it here. That's three. It says green. I want to keep my green here. It says four. Yellow. Yes. So like this, once you're doing it. Okay. So let me just do once for you the whole thing. Five is, is yellow here. Six is blue which comes here. Ding. It's not that very difficult to take out the slides. It's plastic. It's very nice. We used to do skip counting. You can do learning with skip counting, back counting, uh, plus. You can recognition of the numbers. It, it comes out pretty handy. Okay, we have purple here. We have brown here. Orange will go here. Brown will come here. Black's gonna come here. Blue's gonna go here. Green, you wanna be here. Um, black, yes. 15. Red, 16. So now this is empty. You need to close it. 
turn it around and that's your answer so you need to match whether your answer is right or wrong green green yes then two yellows yes then two yellows and green green two yellows and green green red blue blue red so that's how you actually play so you have in the basic things you have colors you have uh, so you need to identify the same shape you have alphabets because that's how the kids do right first they learn the alphabet so the first book is all about alphabets small and big big and small then you have the matching sound you have the matching sound so we did our matching sounds from this book then you have sounds in pictures so like uh, if it's like ha ha so ha ha hand so if you're doing phonics or if you're just doing like simple a b c d so you can still do like the alphabet and the picture and then that's they need to match so they have like various various things in like one book and uh, see so going places you're traveling walking so there are some scenes and uh, see again you have spelling sequence here so you have this is basically number one uh, like le level one in level two you would have so is level two is all about the beginning sounds so you have beginning sound which is sh or th the c t it starts for what it's like thumb ch so chair so if your child is like already reading and writing or already knows the sounds or the spellings that's when this begins but you know what the best part about these books are there are a lot of activities in between which you can actually do it with your kids so i might have not done that but i have like done opposites so you don't need he doesn't need to read it at that time so like you can do visual discrimination you can ask them what is it or if you have alphabets they can put s for star here s for scarf s for snake s for spoon so it's like all alphabet s so when you're doing s you can like do s or the alphabet s so you can do the sound so you have opposites here you have story of r r r drum so you have like r in the second or the third uh, alphabet so it's more about phonics here same goes for english level 3 you have a lot of word fun here word building and then cursive writing and then doing all this so this is um, english okay so i want to show you rhymes and reasons rhymes and reasons is like big and little counting up to 10 so here you have to count and you need to find the same uh, picture with the same numbers here and then you have hat so this is pretty interesting like what will an astronaut wear what about the queen so key queen's crown where is the queen's crown the queen's crown is here okay then where is the swimming costume so what will she swimming costume i'm saying so sorry okay what <laughs> what will she be wearing if she's in the swimming pool she needs a swimming hat where is her hat so you need to find her hat from here what about the um, let's find hmm, the witch let's find the witch hat where's the witch hat is this the witch hat mm -hmm. is this the witch hat nah that's the witch hat so you can do a lot of pretend and play you can do a lot of uh, activities around it that's animal half and half so if you have like this book set uh, you like really don't need the printable stuff that much uh, of course you would only need an extension to it if you like really want to get into it and you want to uh, explore a lot of games you want to make a lot of games or you want to like go in the same direction then you would need they overall co cover a lot 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 of lot of basic things which you would want to do so a lot of pictures a lot of words a lot of good things to read so you can see you have life cycles here so a lot of various various topics that they have covered so that's our uh, thinking so you have circles uh, circles circles different shapes faces so you have to match the face that's turn around then this is half and half you have to match half and half this is turn around that's front and back they need to find and match the same shape so like you have sun here you have circle here and then sort by shape so you can read circles square triangles rectangles so uh, we we really like uh, the thinking skill level and that's what we enjoy the most i think vivan likes this we have done like maths level one and english level one and more or less we have done pictures and like alphabet recognition for the other ones but thinking level one and two is something which we are doing and um, we we quite like it we quite like it so times marches on which is again as you can sing uh, activity 
who is it so who stays where so it's it's that activity out of sorts then you have calendar fun you have spring winter fall time to eat dinner is served so like you have cow okay you have cow here so that's milk so he's milking it here and milk is here so if it's hen here so either you need to either it's chicken or it's egg which is there from so you have peas here but where are peas here they are here so how you grow and what you get out of it is something which they have shown in this okay and then you have maths level 1 in this they are only telling you about numbers so like just number counting number recognition and simple counting so it's the whole book is about counting number 1 level 2 is all about subtraction and addition number counting skip counting matching numbers counting numbers so what's missing like so they, they would be actually doing this so you have 3 4 5 6 you have 10 20 30 40 so it's it's act basically like that and maths level 3 is more about fractions by and uh, they have uh, line numbers so it's up for the age so from 3 to 6 and 6 to 9 or 6 to 10 so i think it's a pretty pretty good buy so if you have any other questions guys uh, about the books or if you want me to like do at least a single book for you so that you uh, get a uh, get a better hang of it to know whether you should buy it or not buy it do let me know um that's it i think yep thank you thanks for watching see ya